guys, welcome to Rain's Place. Um, one of the viewers seen one of my other videos and asked me about my big silver bread machine. And yes, this is an old Wolfgang Puck uh, bread machine. I probably got this one, I want to say five or six years ago. It could be even longer. But um, I use it at least three times a week. Sometimes to make bread, sometimes just to make the dough. Today we're going to make a um, cornbread right in the pan. Um, this is a quick, easy recipe. Um, I don't know a lot of cornbread recipes for bread machines, and so, you know, this is this is a good one. And um, now I'm making mine plain because that's the way my husband likes it. But if you wanted to, I mean, I would love to throw in a handful of cheddar cheese and a small can of, of chopped chilies. I think that would be delicious. But he likes it plain, so that's the way we make it. Um, let me tell you what we're going to put in here. I'm going to spray the pan into, uh, I'm going to spray it with a little bit of the nonstick cooking spray. Into it we're going to add a cup of milk, four eggs, a third of a cup of oil, a half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, two cups of white flour, a cup of cornmeal, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Now don't worry about trying to get all that because I'm going to write the written directions um, in the description box below. So please make sure you check there. Um, let's get started because I have to have this ready for dinner. Okay. Um, again, this this machine is probably at least five or six years old and it's a champ. And I have an even older one that's, I would say, 12 years old maybe. Wolfgang Puck also. And I love that one too. In fact, I love that one more. But um, I think he's got good quality bread machines. Okay, so I sprayed my pan very good so it doesn't stick. Into it, I'm going to... Um, into my milk here, I'm going to crack the eggs. I've already cracked one into it before I realized that I was going to make this video. Okay. So I'm going to crack the eggs in here. Two. And again, pardon the noise. The dogs are in a mood today. Okay. Four eggs. And I like to just whisk it up, whisk it up a little bit. It makes it, um, I think, mix you know better into the bread pan. Okay, so so far in this measuring cup, I have um, a cup of milk and four eggs. I've sprayed my pan, and I'm just going to pour this in there now. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to add a third of a cup. I just used vegetable oil. You can use canola oil, whatever you like. Okay. What else? Now we're going to add... Um, a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. And a teaspoon of salt. We need two cups of white flour. Measure. So what did I say? I said two cups of white flour. That's a half. That's one. One and a half. And two. keep that measure. Okay, and now we're going to need a cup of cornmeal. I just buy a bag and I keep it in a, um, a mason jar once it's open just because it stays fresher. I don't use it a lot, a lot, you know. And we're going to use a cup of this, and this is my half cup measure, so I'm going to do it twice. Okay, and then my last ingredient is going to be a 
um, two teaspoons of baking powder. And I really need to break out the old, ba I mean the new baking powder because this one's a little lumpy. Take that up in there a little bit. That's it. I mean, that's all of the ingredients. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to put it in my machine. Let me bring it over. Can you see me? Let's see. Okay. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. So I put the pan in, lock it into place, and then on the settings for the machine, I hope that you can see. Let me get down here a little bit. I'm going to choose um, <laughs> menu button, excuse me again, and I'm looking for a, uh, a quick bread. For my machine, that's a number four. And I'm going to, um, that's it, quick bread setting. It's going to take two hours and ten minutes, and I'm just going to hold the start button until it starts going. That's it. In two hours and ten minutes, we're going to have um, delicious cornbread. What I am going to do is... Um, and this is totally optional, but you know what, if you're going, excuse me for a moment, let me get a spatula. Okay, if you're going to the bother of making this, what I like to do is while it's mixing it, I take a spatula. I'm, I'm going to do it here. While it's mixing it, I like to just go around the edges and make sure that all of the dry ingredients get wet. So. I don't know if you could see that or not. I just went around the outside, and I'll probably do it again. And that's it. You can see the whole out edges are... Um, or wet. So I'm going to close the top and I'm going to let it go for the next two hours and nine more minutes and then I'm going to bring you back and show you our finished product. Okay, we're back. That's the Keurig making noises because we're going to have coffee and cornbread. But um, it's two hours and ten minutes and then it went on timer. It went on um, keep warm for a little bit. Let me pull this out and show you what it looks like. I can't get too close because it'll fog up the screen, but I hope you can see that. Cornbread in your bread machine. I'm going to take it out so you can see. And I believe that I got this recipe from Jamaril at um, the large family table. And I think it's her exact recipe. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if I changed it at all. Ow. Okay. And then I just put the little um, hook in. And pull out the uh, stir. And this is a little known fact, but the piece that you pull out with the hook is yours to taste. <laughs> Go ahead, Chuck, my husband. And then I mean just beautiful. You can see it. It's steaming hot. And all you need now is a little bit of butter on top of there and a nice cup of coffee. And you're all set. Okay, guys, I hope you give this recipe a try in your bread machine. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to like the video if you want to see more bread machine recipes. And also, if you haven't hit that red subscribe button, do so, please. I'll be back with another video soon. I think we're going to be making some yeast rolls in the bread machine tomorrow. So make sure you check back for that.